The reason is, your ass ain't worth the shit well, no you, more. You better fucking back off, man. <laughs> Me, you man? Your ass used to be beautiful. Right. Shalom. All praise goes to the Most High, the Son, Yahweh, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the Apostles and the Elders of Great Millstone, who rule well. Shalom to Akhmat there pushing this word. And also sitting in honesty and Brother Kora Allah. Gives a quick lesson. Uh, that was a scene from Jackie Brown, all right, Robert De Niro, and Samuel Jackson, all right, uh, and um, basically, uh, Rob De, uh, Samuel Jackson gave Robert De Niro a mouthful before he blasted him away, okay, he said, he said, uh, you ain't worth a damn, all right, then he said, your ass used to be beautiful, now when I first saw this movie, I thought of, um, I thought of the, I thought of the brotherhood, and I thought of the brothers that fell out, man. Okay, cause to the Most High, and the Son Yahweh Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, they ain't worth it. They ain't, they ain't worth it, them. Okay, and they used to be beautiful. So uh, I got a few scriptures I put together. I'm just gonna bring it out through the Spirit. All right. This is uh. This is our uh, First Peter's. I'll just read from 3, 3 and 4. It says, Who's adorning, let it not be the outward adorning of uh, plating, plating the hair and of wearing of gold or of putting on, putting on, or of putting on of apparel, right? So, if, so if, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's something's adorning, adorning, or something is beautiful, all right? Let it, let it not be of putting on of the hair. Uh, let, let it not be things of outward outward appearance, like jewelry, clothing, hairstyles, all right? But let it be, it says in verse 4, but let it be the hidden man of the heart. Let it be the hidden man of the heart, which uh, the word heart goes into the Hebrew law, which is your mind, in that which is not corruptible, right? Your mind, how, how is it not corruptible? By having the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the Heavenly Father. It says, even the ornament of a meek and quiet spirit. Right? That meek and quiet spirit is going to a humble and a humble spirit. Alright? Meek, quiet, a spirit at, at peace. It says, which is in the which is in the sight of the most high of great price. Alright. Now Rob De Niro. In that scene, he, he will represent uh, two thirds, man. He represent fallouts, okay? Because they, uh, if you left this truth, then you aren't worth anything, okay? But if you keep this wish, knowledge, understanding, it says what? Which is in the sight of the Most High, a great price. It's a great price, man. All right. Uh, just to uh, back that up. Let me just get uh John seven. John seven and seven. The word cannot uh so lock John seven and twenty-four. It reads uh judge not according to the appearance, but judge righteous judgment. Okay? And that's according to the spirit, alright, the actions, the behaviors. Alright. Um I had this other scripture. This is uh Romans Romans ten and fifteen. Alright. And it reads uh And how shall they preach except they be sent? Sent by who? Okay, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. Like like the apostles were sent. Alright? That's how they that's how they 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 preach. Okay? And they and they have fruit. Many fruit, okay. Basically, sealing the elect. All right, which is all through the spirit. How beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel? All right, how beautiful 
are the, are, are the feet of them that preach the gospel, which the gospel is the good news. All right. The wisdom, knowledge, and standing in the Bible. That's the gospel. All right. And how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel. All right. Because in, in that scene, going back to uh, that clip I just showed you. All right. He said, what? You used to be beautiful. All right. It says, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. What are those good things? Well, we're going to be you so-called Negroes, Latino, Native Americans or the true Israelites according to the Bible. The, the Lord, all right, Yahweh Shai, the one you call Jesus Christ is a, is a so-called black man. He's a dark-skinned man. All right, and he's coming back down here to destroy this place and, del and deliver his elect and build up the kingdom. Okay, it says, and bring glad tidings, good news of good things. Those are those good things. All right, it's uh, you know, and uh, from there, I'll jump. To uh, Luke 9 and 62. Alright. So let me get that real quick. Luke 9 and uh, 62. Alright. This is Luke 9 and 62. And Yahashua said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow, and looking back is fit for the kingdom of the Most High. All right, no man put his hand to the plow, meaning what? Doing the works of the Heavenly Father. You put your hand to the plow. A plow is 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 a is a tool is is a is a working, uh, a working instrument, uh, a working tool. All right. For what? Uh, agriculture. All right. It says no man having put his hand to the plow. In this case, the, the plow is representing what? Doing the works of the Heavenly Father and the Son. And looking back, looking back meaning what? You stop. You uh you fall out, you know, is is fit is it says no man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of the heavenly father. So you're not fit for the kingdom. Meaning what? If you if you are an Israelite, okay, you're gonna and and, and you were two thirds, you're gonna be destroyed on this side. Alright? That's what it means. You're going to be destroyed. Alright. Um, I have one more script here. This is uh, Proverbs. Alright. Proverbs 21 and 16. Alright. When Samuel Jackson, got, I mean, Slack, when Arab De Niro got blasted <laughs> in that scene, this is what I thought of. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. All right. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding. The understanding is the spirit has it. Is it's with GMS, hands down. It's with GMS. If you have uh, eyes to see and ears to hear. All right. The man that wandereth out of understanding. All right. If you if you was in this thing. And then you wander off, all right, and, and you start doing your own thing, breaking down your own breakdowns and teaching your own doctrine, all right. You want you wander out of the way of understanding, all right. The man that wander out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead, all right. Cause spiritually dead, man, you spiritually you dead. You going back to sleep, or really you never woke up, all right. You spiritually dead. And when all hells break loose, you, uh, you have no defense. Those angels ain't going to defend you, man. Yahweh Hashem Yahshua ain't going to defend you. And ultimately, you'll be, you'll be destroyed by those thermonuclear missiles. You know, and with that, I, I just want to say all praises go to the most high and the sun. Yahweh Yahweh Shah, and double honor to the apostles and the and the elves of Great Millstone and Shalom to the Akim out there pushing this word in all sincerity and honesty. Shalom. Your ass ain't worth the shit well, no you, more. You better fucking back off, man.
fuck happened to you, man? Your ass used to be beautiful. 